One of my favorite projects is making books from scratch. And today, I'm gonna show you how to stitch a book together. That's coming up. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Reese. This is Weaver Leather Supply. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the more rewarding aspects of leather work, and that is making books from scratch. Now, this can be a little bit intimidating, especially when you get into making the actual text block. How do you stitch it together? Well, it's not as difficult as you might think, and today, that's what we're gonna go over. Originally, I had planned on showing you three different stitches, but it was gonna be like a 45-minute video, and I don't think anybody, including me, wants to watch anybody stitch a book together for 45 minutes, so today, I'm gonna show you my favorite out of the three. Now, it's not the easiest of the three, but it is the neatest, and it is the, the one that holds the text block together the best. First things first though, we're gonna need to bind the signatures together. A signature is just a fancy name for a stack of folded paper. Your average signature is gonna have between eight and 12 sheets of paper in it. A book can have as many signatures as you like. To stitch them together, we need to have the holes in the same place on all the signatures. To do that, we're just gonna make a template out of a piece of poster board. To do that, just cut the poster board to the same size as your pages. Fold it in half, and then we can mark our holes. Most stitching patterns are gonna do best with an odd number of holes. Now, I've got this nice little cradle for punching holes, but you can do it freehand too. This just makes it a little easier. As far as where to put the holes, the top and bottom holes should be about an inch from the edge. The matching hole is about a half inch from that. The middle one is in the center. Easy enough. Now, when we stitch the signatures together, we're gonna need thread to do that. Thread and a needle. My preferred thread for this is the Ritza Tiger Thread from Weaver. And the reason I prefer it, number one, it's waxed. Number two, it's thicker than your traditional thread, which means it doesn't cut into the pages as easily, although it still can. We're gonna start by threading our needle, then locking it off by piercing the thread, and then pulling that tail back up and over the end of the needle. After that, I'm just gonna tie a knot in the other end of the thread. Now, a quick little note here. If you're stitching pages together that need to stay in a certain order, well, you're gonna to wanna to start with the bottom signature, not just any random one, obviously. So you wanna have your signatures in order, ready to go, and then start with the bottom one and work your way up the deck. So this stitch is called case binding. Now, you don't have to know what that means, just that it's an easy, clean stitch. We're gonna start with one of the holes on either end of the signature, it doesn't matter and we're gonna start from the outside. Then we're gonna pull that knot snug against the outside of the signature. Then we're gonna work our way through the other holes one at a time with an in-out pattern. Once we get to the other end, we're just gonna turn around and work our way back down. You should end up with a line of thread on the inside and outside of the signature. We want the thread snug without it cutting into the paper. Once you get back to the original holes, just tie off your thread on the inside, then push the thread back through to the outside. Now we're back at our starting point. The second signature is done a little bit different. We're gonna go back in that first hole, up and out the second one, then we're gonna go down to the lower signature, loop around that stitch, come back up and go th back in that second hole. The key here is that we're using that loop to lock the two stitches together by looping it around the lower stitch.
Now with the first signature, we went down and back. With the following signatures, we're gonna go down and then we're gonna add the next signature and then we're gonna go back. And then we're just gonna work our way back and forth until we get all the signatures secured to the text block. So by coming out the hole, down and around the lower stitch, and then back in the hole, that's going to secure everything together and give us one cohesive text block. If you want to see the other two stitches that I was going to show you today, but it was going to be too long, if you want to see more about bookbinding, let me know in the comment section below. I love bookbinding and I'd love to share it with you. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, go make something amazing.